Hello all, my name is Krish Nayak and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, uh, today in this particular video, I'm going to review a mechanical engineer re resume for the role of data scientist. And probably if you're not from computer science background and if you are planning to apply for data science, what all things needs to be considered in a resume, that is what I'm actually going to discuss. And based on that, I'm going to provide you a lot of feedbacks. And again, today, the resume that I'm going to consider is Suresh Gajeli. Okay, and uh, he's probably a machine learning engineer who is already, I think he's already made a transition towards data science. And uh, here uh, you'll be able to see his resume looks good. You know, it's it looks absolutely perfect. So that is the reason why I've selected this particular resume for doing the review. But on top of that, he can still add many things. Okay, and probably uh, I will be reviewing this resume right now in front of you. And uh, based on that, uh, you know, I'll also be giving the feedbacks. So first of all, let's go ahead in the left hand side, you'll be able to see all the information regarding Suresh. The best thing I liked, he has given his GitHub profile, he's given his LinkedIn ID, I've removed the phone number uh, and his email ID is over here, right? And the best thing I liked is that, just see on this left hand side, this left hand side, he has really, really written all the things that he knows in an amazing manner, okay? so. Because of that, you know, when probably a ATS system is actually uh, selecting his resume due to the keywords, it may be getting selected very frequently. So this is one of the points that I liked about this particular resume. In the left hand side, you can see the key skills like data visualization, predictive analysis, statistic modeling, web scrapping, data preprocessing, clustering and classification, machine learning and deep learning algorithms and model development. Okay. Uh, he can, uh, this languages and hobbies, he can actually move it completely down. This is one of the feedback that I, I want to keep because this is just kept in the center. Instead, this should be at the last, okay, at the last after, after probably web development, uh, you can actually put it because those are not that important, you know, uh, when compared to your technical skills. Now let's go back to the technical skills on the left hand side. Here you can see that he has written about Python, about PostgreSQL. IntelliJ, PyCharm, Jupyter Notebook, Google Colab, Label, uh, label Image. So uh, this is with respect to the tools that he may be using. Uh, PyCharm is his, uh, uh, he's basically using for coding. Google Colab is also one option. Jupyter Notebook is also one option. Label IMG is basically for object annotation. Okay. Uh, then he's also mentioned about the packages that he has worked in. Uh, here you can see that uh, the packages like Scikit-Learn, uh, TensorFlow, NumPy, Pandas, NLTK, OpenCV, Seaborn, Matplotlib, Autoscrapper. So if you are able to write, see, in, in this two pages of resumes, put so much of content in an amazing way so that on the left hand side, you'll be able to see all the main keywords, right? So packages has been included completely. And then you have machine learning algorithms like linear regression, logistic, K nearest neighbor support. Uh, support vector machine, NAP, bias, decision tree, random forest, exibus. So all the commas and, and the famous algorithms are also written over here. Deep learning algorithms are also written. He's also included uh, image segmentation, object detection, encoder, decoder, attention model, uh, image, uh, and all the other things. Then you have natural language processing. He has actually included that. Not much deep dive. Okay, if he's used attention model, probably some more deep dive into natural language processing is actually given. Um, I don't see word to vec word to vec can also be put up. Okay. Word embeddings is there, you know, word to vec also can be put up because those kind of keywords usually, uh, people write that in the job description, then recommended system and web development, right? So all this information, see web development frameworks also is actually mentioned like flask and Jago. So I definitely like this left hand part. Um, what he can just do is that, uh, he can just move this completely downwards. Okay. Now let's go back to his work experience. So he was a technical content writer. See guys, he is a mechanical engineering. If you want to know his education is from this particular college NV Navale Singard College of Engineering. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. And uh, here initially when he started probably his career, I think he started as a uh, technical content writer. And then uh, he became a machine learning intern in Groom and uh, all the things that you can see over here, what all he has actually done you know, with respect to yellow weights and all mostly, uh, yes, here only he has actually used this label IMG software. Okay. So good, uh, projects other than that, this is probably his personal projects. So the best thing is that he has some experience somewhere with respect to internship with some kind of work. So that part, if the interviewer asks, he'll definitely be able to explain properly. Okay. So let me do one more thing right now and let, let's, let's, uh, check this part also just a second 
okay so uh, here you can see projects what all kind of projects he has actually made stock market prediction forecasting with scat uh, stack lstm face mark detection fake news classifier so probably i've also created all this kind of videos in my youtube channel uh, where i've actually implemented all these things all this kind of projects uh, along with sentiments of amazon product reviews everything has been up now fine these are the projects but i would give you a very important point even though you are from different different domain like mechanical engineering from commerce background from civil background please try to see or please try to at least do some of your personal projects from that specific domain okay from that specific domain probably in mechanical engineering you may be from manufacturing domain and there are so many projects that are available in kaggle with respect to manufacturing domain so that part you can definitely put it over here that is my suggestion guys then only see when industry probably will be hiring you they'll also look at various domains that you have actually worked at right if you are able to showcase that what kind of domains you have actually worked at trust me it will be pretty much amazing you will definitely be able to impress the recruiter so face uh, here in the project section definitely catch some of the projects from your domain you know there are a lot of things you know like uh, uh, oil detection sorry oil uh, leakage detection forest fires so probably in your mechanical engineering you can do something related to manufacturing plant you know object detection since you have already done object detection you can do some object detection project with respect to a manufacturing plant so all those things you can actually definitely write it out right so here he has also mentioned python project which i again liked it this is very good he is given regarding some other libraries like pygame tkinter and uh, different things which is very very good uh, courses also he has written what all courses he has actually completed okay well he it is mentioned in the last that is very good uh, again the focus what all courses since you are from a mechanical domain you have also written about all the kind of courses that you have actually done that is also fine extracurricular activities this is pretty much amazing see in extracurricular activities is just mentioned regarding all related to ai things he has actually done which is pretty much good you know i i've seen people say that in extracurricular AI activities uh, they have won uh, first prize in cricket they'll say or volleyball something right some other thing they'll write this is the very good thing that he's written extracurricular activities where he's told about what all things additional things he had done in the form, field of ai right and this is finally his education background so this kind of resume is very good trust me with respect to the number of keywords just in two pages it is being able to cover so much even though uh, he completed his engineering in 2019 you know just with respect to two years of experience he's done he's written a lot of things right so definitely with some minor updates uh, this resume i think can be used by many of the people this format and this way they can actually be given right so i hope you like this particular video uh, please do make sure that you subscribe the channel i'll be coming up with more uh, resumes for people belonging from non technical non programming or other background other than cs and i'll be reviewing this kind of resumes so i hope you like this particular video i'll see you in the next video have a great day thank you and all bye